popular at school, eh? The problem began, of course, with the carrots. The carrots are orange. The peas are green. And they mustn't touch. people like violence. It is because it feels good. Humans find violence deeply satisfying. But remove the, 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 the satisfaction and the act becomes hollow. Turing, come on. There's such a clike about it. <laughs> it was a bloody rope. I didn't learn this on my own, of course. But I had help. Christopher helped. <clears throat> Alan, are you all right? Not my fault. The carrots got in with the peas, and I'm sorry. I won't let them do it again. They're getting worse. They only beat me up because I'm smarter than they are. No, they beat you up because you're different. Mother says I'm just an odd duck, and she's right. But you know, Alan, sometimes it's the very people who no one imagines anything of who do the things no one can imagine. All right, I will. Pardon, Mum, this room's restricted. Oh, apologies for my tardiness. The, the bus caught a flat tire. Uh, may I continue, please? Thank you. Uh, you're not allowed in here, Mum. Oh, but I'm only a few minutes late. And, the and secretary's at head upstairs. This room's for the candidates. May, may I get on with this now, please? I, I am a candidate. For what position? Well, that it didn't say precisely. Uh, yes, those secretaries are to head upstairs. It did say that it was top secret. And what is going on? I, I solved a, a crossword puzzle in the newspaper, and, and I, I got this letter saying that I was a candidate for some sort of mysterious job. My name's Joan Clark. Miss, did you really solve this puzzle yourself? What makes you think I couldn't solve the puzzle myself? I, I'm really very Mom, good at... Mum, I'll have to ask you to... Miss Clark, I, I find tardiness under uh, any circumstance um, unacceptable. Take a seat so that we may continue. Now, um, as I was saying, you, you have six minutes to uh, complete the task in front of you. Uh, gentlemen and lady, begin. It's about how one uh, approaches solving an impossible problem. Do you tackle the whole thing at once or divide it into small? You finished? Yes. Five minutes and 34 seconds. You said to do it in under six. Cup of tea? No, thank you. <sighs> Mr. Turing, can I tell you a secret? I'm quite good with those. I'm here to help you. 
Oh, clearly. Can machines think? Oh, so you've read some of my published works? What makes you say that? No, because I'm sitting in a police station accused of entreating a young man to touch my penis, and you just asked me if machines can think. Well, can they? Could machines ever think as human beings do? Most people say not. 